And now, your local weather authority forecast. It's a muggy morning, but it's a rain-free morning. This is a live look at Odessa early on your Tuesday morning, where before sunrise, that's why we're seeing black and white. We're under night vision, city lights highlighting a little bit of the mist, but we can clearly see the Bank of America Tower right now in Odessa. We are seeing some clouds, but generally, mostly clear skies, base and wine, and mostly rain-free conditions. But later today, after the heat up, there is a chance of strong to severe thunderstorms of marginal risk of severe weather from Midland Odessa to Fork Stockton, Marfa to Alpine to Pecos as well. Now this time the threat a little bit farther west compared to what we saw yesterday. Abilene saw thunderstorms yesterday and even so some lingering around this morning, but they're starting to dissipate as we do notice those clouds fanning out a little bit westward, clipping Big Lake and even parts of Midland County and near La Mesa and also Snyder, but not producing any rain based on wine. But we're experiencing more humid conditions this morning and a little bit more breezy conditions as winds coming in out of the south right around 10 to 20 miles per hour. A little bit more breezy in Fork Stockton, around 20 to 30 miles per hour out of the south picking up. And then we start to see those winds really start to spread out in all directions from the trans Pecos later this afternoon because of thunderstorms pushing on. Yeah, rain cooled air and parts of the basin later today. But for the first half of the day, rain free and very mild and a little bit, just a little bit drier compared to yesterday morning. Mostly clear skies, 67 right now in the tall city, 52% relative humidity and climbing, but not quite as humid as yesterday morning. Pretty breezy out there. South wind at 14 miles per hour. Temperatures generally in the high 50s, 60s and low 70s. A little bit warmer compared to yesterday morning, a little bit cooler there in Marfa right now in the 50s as a opposed to 40s yesterday morning, but warming up in a big way. The high 80s and 90s slightly cooler than yesterday because of slightly more clouds and slightly higher rain chances around three or four o'clock. This is before thunderstorms start to fire off some mid topper 90s from Pecos to Midland Odessa and Big Spring as well. We got to 96 yesterday today. I think we'll reach right around the 94 degree mark with strong thunderstorms later in the day with strong wind gusts and not only that damaging hail, big hail possible and that's something that again really don't want we want the rain but we don't want the hail partly cloudy and very warm before thunderstorms start to fire off again we do notice high level clouds in parts of the basin and low level clouds in eastern areas now there will be more low level clouds and high level clouds because of more moisture high level clouds approaching from the west low level clouds approaching from the east and when you combine those ingredients together thunderstorms may form near the Guadalupe Mountains, extending into the northern basin, including Midland and Odessa. That's something that we got to watch out for. But most storms ending before midnight, low temperatures in the 60s, with winds still pretty breezy in the south southeast at 10 to 20 miles per hour. Tomorrow, another chance of storms, a little bit cooler because of the lingering chances for storms at 90 degrees. Still pretty warm for this time of year, but a little bit cooler compared to that of today. Now, we do have, again, a marginal risk of severe weather from the Storm Prediction Center this time. Moving down toward the Big Bend, including Fork Stockton, Midland, Odessa, La Mesa, and Lubbock. This time a threat a little bit farther to the east compared to that of today. And eventually, the drier trend will continue as we head into Thursday. So slightly drier late tomorrow after the storms move on through, giving way to more sunshine finally as we head into Thursday. But again, storms today and tomorrow possible. Lower temperatures in the 80s and 90s for the afternoon tomorrow and Thursday before storms really start to cool things off Mother's Day weekend. Thank <laughs> you.